Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, that's our first, very first, first, first little bit of hay we're starting to cut there for selling to neighbors and so forth and so on. So, I'm wrenching on that slother all day, doing some welding and uh, fixing the exhaust on it and teeth on the pickup reel and a couple sections and an oil change and all that kind of fun stuff. But kind of kind of skimpy hay this year just because of how dry it was when it started the year and it's kind of how it's been this year I guess but yeah should be a little bit anyways this canvas there it's a double swath this machine here which means you can slide your canvases one way or the other must be having issues there a little bit. You can slide either canvas uh, one way or the other and end up making a 40 foot swath, but they're uh, sometimes they're kind of a persnickety creature to deal with. If I can get by them here, they'll get inside swiped. Yeah, the grass, it might be starting to get a little bit tough here now, but just because of what time of night it is, but yeah, hopefully we can uh, cut a little bit here tonight anyways, just to make sure everything's going to work, and then tomorrow I'll put the day in on it or something. We've got, oh, not a hell of a lot to cut, about a thousand acres or so. No, maybe not quite. 650 I guess would be what it is ish so a few days of cutting but nothing too insane anyway but hopefully everything works good it's uh land one of grandpa's neighbors there at the other farm that uh, we cut the hay on shares for him and then uh, he gets a quarter of the bales and we get three quarters of them and we cut and bale and Tick and stack all of them for them, but uh, yeah. Once he gets to the end of the lane here, I'm gonna start videoing again, but it's gonna be in a few minutes, so I'll talk to you again here in a few. One eternity later. Wow, the mosquitoes are bad tonight. <laughs> I'm getting eaten alive. Like, just ridiculous. getting eaten alive guys I'm gonna have to go back to the truck <laughs>
run your wheel right along the edge and you kind of dump it on the side because it's straight down that ditch, eh? Oh, it is? Oh, we better not make them too mad at us. Cut this little corner here, though. There's ruts from when I got stuck with the 50-20 in there, though, so you can see them right there. Oh, listen to that power. I'll move out of your way. Just be careful right here. You can see the ruts. So. You'll be all right. Bugs aren't nearly as bad in there as they are standing outside here, so. A few years ago, I got stuck here with three tractors trying to get one out. <laughs> We had a flood and I was trying to clean up all of the all of the stuff that ended up washed up in our pasture and I was trying to dump it over here along the fence line. And yeah, there, I think he found one of the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple pretty good ones in there, as you can imagine. See the back wheel there. <laughs> oh God. He's gonna wonder why he went in there. <laughs> if that thing had a little bit more power, it would make a world of difference But them. 200 Fords, well Jesus, on a good day, they probably made, what, five horsepower? <laughs> but, anyway, that's just our little bit of a test run, or whatever you might wanna call it for tonight, just to make sure everything's gonna sorta kinda work for tomorrow anyways. But, Watch him finish this corner here, I guess, and we'll catch you in the next one. That reel on there. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with these old versatiles, but you could basically grab them by the hitch on the back. Twice! With three tractors! <laughs> uh, anyways, you could grab them by the hitch on the back and lift the back of the swather off the ground like. They've got so much weight on the front and like none on the back. So, uh, with that pickup reel on the front, it was really bad. You can see almost every time he slows down here how it, uh, how the wheel comes off the ground. I put a big chunk of weight, like a piece of a boiler, on the uh, back of it, but. Still not quite enough, but anyway, I guess. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.